Hi friends of Cocktails, I'm Kevin Kuss and today we'll make something that you wouldn't expect if you know this channel, a porn star martini. But this is cocktail time, so you'll know we'll do it a little differently. There are different recipes out there, with most using vanilla vodka, passion fruit puree, passion fruit liqueur, lime juice and vanilla syrup. Most commonly it's served with a shot of sparkling wine. The version we'll make today will be a stirred, clarified cocktail, with champagne added to the top of the glass as foam. This recipe will be based on what Rich Woods, aka the cocktail guy, came up with. He's an author, bartender and co-owner of The Scout, a seasonal cocktail bar in London. He's pretty big on Instagram and he also started a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to his book and socials in the description, so make sure to check all that out. When I was looking for an inspiration to make a twist on the porn star martini, I found his video and he nailed it. No need for me to re-reinvent the wheel, right? This is his recipe. I'll just tweak the ratios a bit. But I also add the champagne, right on top of the cocktail. You guys seem to really like when I make foam. And I'm a man of the people. Let's start, it's cocktail time. Before we clarify anything else, let's clarify the fact that the porn star martini is as far from being a martini as possible. I'll tell you more about this cocktail later. Now let's see what we need to make the clarified version. The base is the same as in the original, vanilla vodka. I'm using Absolut, who were the first to make flavored vodka back in 1986. Their vanilla vodka is flavored with natural vanilla extracts and no added sugar. The next and obvious ingredient is the clarified passion fruit puree. I'll follow that with a small amount of Palo Cortado sherry, not in the original recipe, but I love the nuttiness it adds. For some extra vanilla flavor, I have vanilla syrup. And to balance all of the flavors, we use citric acid solution instead of lime and saline solution like we often do. To top it off, we'll make some foam using GH Moom champagne. This champagne has intense and complex flavors of fresh fruits, so it's perfect for today. There's a lot of flavors here, but they really work together. I'll show you how to make the homemade ingredients. To start, you'll of course need passion fruit puree. This is a mixture of 90% passion fruit and 10% sugar. We'll use 300 grams of that. For the clarification process, we'll add pectinex. This is an enzyme that breaks down pectin, a polysaccharide found in plant cell walls. It is commonly used to speed up the extraction of fruit juice from fruit. It's also used in wine production to clear wine by breaking down the pectin in finished wine, which causes a slight haste or cloudiness. 0.2% of the total weight will do the trick for us, so we added 0.6 gram of pectinex. A bit of heat is needed for the pectinex to do its magic, and our blender will provide enough of that. We we'll leave it running for about 45 seconds, then set the mixture aside and let it sit for at least an hour. By that time, the puree will separate, and you'll already see the clarified part on the bottom. Then it's time to filter it through a coffee filter. Do it slowly, so you don't mix up the puree again. And not to get sidetracked on this episode, but you can make fruit leather from this filtered fruit with some added sugar and dehydration. Check out the Clover Club episode for the whole process of making fruit leather. Bottle the clarified passion fruit puree and keep it in the fridge. You won't have a problem using this within a week. With that ready, we just have to mix these three ingredients. For the saline and citric solution, it's just a matter of weighing the ingredients and mixing them with water. We'll make a combination of citric and malic acids, which will replicate the flavor of lime, used in the original recipe. But this will be three times as acidic as your typical lime. Of the total weight of the solution, 12% of it will be citric acid and 6% will be malic acid. This solution will give us enough acidity without adding any citrus juice, which wouldn't give us a clarified cocktail. You could also use the technique shown in the Valentine's Day episode to clarify lime juice, but I didn't want to overcomplicate the cocktail guy's recipe. If you use the clarified lime juice, make sure to adjust the ratios. And for the saline solution, as always, I use 20 grams of salt mixed with 80 grams of water. Store it in a dropper vial and use it to enhance the sweet and citrusy flavors in your favorite cocktails. One or two drops go a long way. For vanilla syrup, I use the basic simple syrup recipe I showed you in the first cocktail engineering episode. I'll leave a link in the description. All we'll do here is add a small amount of this vanilla extract. For 200 milliliters of simple syrup, 
4 grams is enough. This is the fastest way to make vanilla syrup, and it gives you the most control of the flavor. So I like this method. With such an easy process, there is no need to get store-bought syrup. Store it in the fridge and use it for vanilla espresso martinis, Irish coffees or even old fashions. The last thing we'll make just before the actual cocktail is the champagne foam. This will replace the palate cleansing shot of champagne, typically served next to a porcelain martini. And the original recipe did call for champagne, not prosecco, so this move is a great choice. Similarly to what we did for the inverted Clara Club, we'll use a blender and some soil lecithin to create a rich, thick foam. But this time we'll add an additional stabilizer, xanthan gum. Because of this, we can lower the amount of soil lecithin and you will still get a better, long-lasting foam. Since the champagne was originally meant to be sipped in between sips of the cocktail, having it on top will provide us with a similar effect. While this settles a bit, you're ready to make the clarified porn star martini. We'll stir the rest of the ingredients in a chilled mixing glass. The original porn star martini is a shaken drink and was invented at the turn of the 21st century by Douglas Ankra in London. Nowadays, it's often called the most popular cocktail in the UK. In turn, this made the Absolute Vanilla UK's number one flavored vodka. The addition of sherry in this recipe replaces some of the dry notes of the champagne shot, served on the side. Since we'll add the foam on top, we'll add just enough to give our cocktail some extra body. The clarified passion fruit puree can also be used for non-alcoholic passion fruit drinks, but it will of course feel most at home in a porn star martini. The inventor of the original cocktail claimed he used the name porn star because he considered it a stylish and confident drink that's sexy, fun and evocative, but he also said it's something a porn star would drink, so there's that. As with the espresso martini, this cocktail uses the famous cocktail name for the recognition. Sometimes it's also served in the well-known V-shaped martini glass. Since I'll top it up with champagne foam, I'm using a champagne flute. And now, for that extra touch, the champagne foam. I'm not going to say this will cleanse the palate, but it will give additional aroma and freshness. I'm pretty sure this porn star will blow my mind. Let's give it a try. Since it's covering the whole cocktail, it's no surprise you'll get the aroma of champagne first. Its mild dryness gives way to the fruity punch of the cocktail that is unmistakably a porn star martini. While the presentation wouldn't give it away, the tropical notes of passion fruit and vanilla let you know it's time to have fun like it's 2002 again, if you were old enough back then, of course. Palo Cortado Sherry's nutty notes with dried fruits complement both the vanilla and the passion fruit and work well with champagne wine notes as well. Passion fruit and vanilla are also the dominant flavors of the wonderful aftertaste, so you'll have to restrain yourself from drinking this too fast. So trust me, you love this cocktail, but if you want to try a classic porn star martini, another great YouTube bartender from England, Steve the Barman, loves to show off his recipes. How much does he love the porn star martini? I'll let him tell you himself. I am Steve the Barman and I am the porn star king. Sorry Steve, this was too good not to bring back. Go show him some love everybody. I'll see you next week with a brand new cocktail engineering episode. Cheers! Let's start, it's cocktail time. <laughs>
Stai să-i blopăr, vrei? Să-ți băcea că te-ai spus, dar...